they're off the tote chester cup of 2023 almu hit was a little bit slow leaving the stalls the blue and yellow yukon glenn in a yellow jacket was restrained on leaving the gates falcon eight towards the rear purple and yellow nose bandit is needing plenty of stoking along from more as a mean helps to push the early pace along and the nose bandit al zara khan is moving through to join him as they embark upon two complete circuits of the rudy so mean leading al zara khan into the first bend with vino victrix in the purple and white disputing third call my bluff from a good draw yellow cap has got a good position on the running rail there's a three length break then to the next pair of runners rajinsky in an orange jacket on the inner of rashoon in the dark blue Another couple of lengths to Zoffy, the white cap, racing ahead of Calling the Wind, who's in the purple and white down at the running rail. Slightly worse than midfield for Law of the Sea in a black jacket, then Bascule, who's in the green and red. Uh, Whiteface Metier in an orange jacket would be about three quarters of the way back as they start off across the far side ahead of Almu Hit. And then the Grand Vizier in the blue and orange, Tritonic, maroon sleeves and caps, got a couple behind. Nose banded Falcon 8 is one of them, and Yukon Glen, who's invariably patiently ridden, is the other. So they go through the first three quarters of a mile of the Tote Chester Cup, and it's Amin and Harrison Shaw giving a lead to Al Zara Khan, racing a close second. Vino Victrix, the maroon jacket, disputing third with Cormai Bluff. Then Rajinsky against the running rail in turn slipstream by calling the wind and Zoffy the white cap Rashoon in a dark blue jacket is out wider. Then Law of the Sea to Bascule from Almu hit alongside Metier the orange silks is all fairly leisurely at the moment. The Grand Vizier in the raw blue with three behind Yukon Glen one of them then Tritonic and Falcon 8 and they head towards the end of the first circuit and reach the top of the straight once more. 16 runners led down towards halfway by Emin to Al Zaragoza Khan, two lengths away, Vino Victrix in the maroon, disputing third with Call My Bluff. Rajinsky, orange jacket, has got a good position, just fifth to Rashoon in the cheek pieces. Then calling the win, the purple and white, Zoffy is his shadow. Law of the Sea, black jacket, pulling hard off a steady pace here as they slide under the judge with one more circuit ahead of them and a mile to go. Amin leads the field, made every inch so far. Al Zara Khan second, then Vino Victrix racing wide of Call my bluff. Rajinsky and Rashoon are the next pair, followed by Calling the Wind and Zoffy, Law of the Sea, Bascule in the red and green. Then Al Muhit and Metier and the Grand Vizier and Yukon Glen and Tritonic and Falcon 8. Ryan Moore, purple and yellow, just about last as they head up the Viaduct side of the track and head now for the final three quarters of a mile in the Tote Chester Cup. And Amin at a fairly steady 32 miles an hour, leading up still to Al Zara Khan. Call my bluff, well poised under veteran John Egan, the yellow cap third, just ahead of Vino Victrix. Rajinsky is next in the orange silks as they head past the five. Then Rashoon in a dark blue jacket to the white face calling the wind. Very little change in the order in behind. Law of the Sea at the moment is a little bit trapped on heel, slightly worse than mid-division. Zoffy is back in midfield and they head for the final half mile in the Tote Chester Cup and there will be 12, 15 lengths top to tail. Falcon 8's being pushed along in rear and Tritonic at this stage is still a fairly long way back so we're entering the closing stages of the Tote Chester Cup, I mean kicking on now, pressing on inside the three Call My Bluff, Yellow Cap giving chase, then Al Zarakhan Rajinsky, Orange Jacket being angled out, Zoffy around the field the Black Sleeves then calling the wind I mean inside the last two furlongs, three lengths ahead Call My Bluff is chasing, then the Palmer pair of Rajinsky and Zoffy calling the wind Metier away to the left is running on under pressure then law of the sea inside the furlong call my bluff nose is ahead zoffy is challenging here's metier over the top charging home then law of the sea just zoffy call my bluff metier getting ever closer and it's very close it might have been metier under safi osborne who pulled it out the fire in the chester cup from zoffy and call my bluff and law of the sea and rajinsky in a pulsating finish